And yeah. welcome to an all levels class. We're going to do a 30 minute class today. So since it's all levels, just feel free to modify any poses that we do. Work at your own level, listen to your own body. So let's just begin in our easy seated pose. Let's close our eyes and take a deep breath, just clearing our minds from any stress or distractions that we might be feeling. And go inward to our breath, finding our center and a place of peace and calmness. As we breathe in through our nose, let's take our breath down into our chest, down into our bellies. And completely release that breath. So take a few more of those deep, cleansing, centering breaths before we begin our practice. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Let's drop our chin down, gazing towards our fingertips, allowing the back of our necks to stretch. And as you exhale your breath, relax your shoulders and your neck. Now on our next inhalation, let's reach our arms up, gazing up towards our hands, stretching upwards. Let's reach and let's take another deep breath. And then bringing our hands back to our hearts. Let's sit up, engaging our bellies, and take an easy twist to our right. Let's twist from the belly up to our shoulders, and then gently bringing that twist into our necks. And now releasing our left hand to our right knee, let's take our right hand behind our backs. As we inhale, let's find length through our spine, and then our exhale, maybe take our twist a little bit further. We'll hold it for another breath release it back to center. Let's go to the other side, taking our right hand to that left knee and our left hand behind us. Let's inhale up tall and then our exhale go into our twist. Following our breath, working our way up our spine from our belly to our shoulder and finally letting our neck come into our twist. And then releasing our twist, let's come back to center and make our way onto all fours. So let's find that tabletop position with our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. Now let's take cat-cow, moving with our breath, exhaling as we round our back into cat pose, inhaling up to cow. Take this movement at the pace of your own breath, working down the whole length of your spine equally so we're not putting extra stress through our neck or low back. We try to move through the whole length of our vertebrae. And Imagine loosening up the space between each vertebrae as if we're decompressing our spine as we move. Let's take that one more time in each direction. neutral spine, drawing in our bellies, relaxing our shoulders back away from our ears, and reaching out our right arm and left leg. Let's engage through our core, keep our shoulders and our hips level with our mat. Take another breath and stretch long from fingers to toes. And then come back to our mat and change sides. Let's take a deep breath as we reach out. Good. Length, breathe, pulling in our bellies, staying steady and level as we use our core and our breath. And then we'll come back to our mats. Let's sit back into child's pose. You can open your knees if that's more comfortable on your hips or knees. And then your 
body sink down as you exhale, let your head drop to your mats. Stretch your arms out to the front. Let's notice our breath again, filling up our backs, expanding our rib cage. Let's walk our hands over to the right and stretch off to the side. Finding that length on the left side of our bodies as we reach off to the right. And walking our hands over to the left. Stretch into our right side. And come back to the center. Let's lift back up. And as we come back to all fours, moving to down dog. Spread wide through the fingers, pressing our heel, lift our hands into our mats. Take a little movement through the heels, lifting and lowering them as we begin to stretch out the back of our legs. Drawing our belly in, let's lift our hips up and lengthen through our spine. Let's take another breath and let our heels sink towards the mat. If our legs are tight, we can put a little bend in our knees. If we have that length and flexibility in our legs, we can press our heels to the mat. Let's hold it for another breath. And we come back to all fours. And bring our right leg forward to a low lunge. Let's bring the knee right over the ankle and stretch our left hip down towards the mat. Good. Get your balance. And then inhale your arms overhead. As we exhale, let's relax that left hip down towards the mat and bring our hands together. Let's reach up with the arms and stretch up and back, lifting our rib cage. As we lower our hands, let's bring them to our hearts and take a twist to the right. We can be upright in our twist. Well, if that's accessible, we can go a little deeper, bringing our elbow outside our thigh. Let's take another breath here. Very nice. And turn back to center. Drop the hands to the mat, keeping our foot right here. Let's press our hips back, straighten our knee, and bring our toes up. So stay upright. Don't sit all the way back down. And then as you exhale, lean forward over your leg. Perfect. We want a little more stretch in the lower leg. We could bring one of our hands to our foot and pull that foot in towards our shin. But we could keep both hands on the mat if we need to, to steady ourselves. Let's take another breath, go a little bit deeper, finding that stretch in the back of our thighs. We want to make sure we don't hyperextend our knee so we can keep a little tiny bend in that knee. And then releasing it, let's lift our bodies up, bring our knees back together. And we'll change sides, drawing the left leg forward into that lunge, dropping our right hip towards the mat. Let's lift our hearts, reach up, get your balance, and inhale your arms overhead. Perfect. Relax your shoulders, sink that right hip down towards the mat, and bring your hands together. Inhale, tall, stretching, lifting your rib cage. lower hands to hearts. Let's take a breath and twist to the left. Upright twist or a deeper twist. Breathing into our twist. Let's take another breath. And release that twist back to center. And draw our hands to our mats. Let's press the hips back, straighten our leg, and bring the toes forward towards the shin. Good. Being careful you don't hyperextend that knee. You've got some flexible legs there. And exhale forward over your thigh. With each breath, release a little further. You don't have to force yourself into your pose. Just let go. Move with ease. Move with your breath. And let's lift up again. Bring our knees back together. And take our hands back down to our mat. Come back 
can sit down dog. Take a deep breath as you lift your hips, stretch and lengthen your spine. And then let's look up towards our hands, step forward into forward fold. Let's let gravity pull our upper bodies down towards the mat. Our hands can be on our legs or our mat. Let your head hang heavy. And take another breath. Let's soften the knees and our inhale breath lift up. We'll reach overhead. Let's take our arms up into extended mountain pose. Lift and breathe up through our hearts. And bring hands to hearts. Let's position our feet and our knees close together. And take chair pose. Lining up toes, good, and knees. Relax our shoulders down. Beautiful. Reach the arms out. If you can, keep your hands at your heart if you need to. And lift, take another breath. Now let's inhale, reaching all the way up. And as we exhale, we'll swan dive forward, bending from our hips, softening our knees. Let's bring our hands down to the mat if we can, or to our legs. Take another breath, go a little deeper into that fold. And as you inhale, lift halfway up. We can come up to our fingertips or we'll bring our hands to our shins. Lengthening through our spine, let's keep our hearts open, our shoulders back. And then release it back to our mat. Bending our knees, let's step back into plank. As we find plank, we can modify that if we need to by going onto our elbows or our knees. Let's engage our core. Nice plank. Shoulders are back. Let's take one more breath, and as we release that breath, we'll lower to our mats. We can go to our knees first, or take our whole body down in Chaturanga. And then dropping our toes to the mat, let's take an easy cobra. Lifting up through our hearts, drawing our shoulders back. In cobra pose, we want to take care of our backs, so if we have any back issues, we don't want to lift up too high. Let's release it back down. We'll press back into down dog, stretching our hips up and back, sinking our heels towards the mat. Let's take another breath, checking in with our breath and with our bodies. And then lifting our right leg up, let's take a one leg down dog. And if we like a little hip stretch, we could bend our knee, let that foot drop back behind us, open from our hip. Bring that leg forward. Let's step it up between our hands and pivot our left heel down to the mat, reaching up into warrior one. We'll bend that right knee, press our left heel to the mat, and square up our shoulders and our hips to the top of our mats. Let's hold it for a breath. And bring our arms down. Let's draw the elbows back a little bit, open through our hearts, very nice. And then clasp our hands together behind our backs. Lifting up through our hearts, let's relax the shoulders down. And straighten the arm knee a little bit, let's fold forward. We can keep our hands resting on our back. If we'd like a little more stretch into our shoulders, we could lift our arms. One more breath and lift back up. Releasing our arms down, let's take them back to our hearts. Step our feet together at the top of our mats. Ah, take a deep breath. How are we doing? Perfect. Let's keep moving. Inhale and lift up. Exhale, swan down forward. Bend from the hips, press chest to thighs, let your head hang down. Inhale, halfway up. Fingertips on your mat or hands on your legs. Let's release it back down. We'll bend our knees, step back into plank. Remember, we can modify our plank to toes or knees or elbows as we come into plank pose. Holding it for another breath as we engage our core. Let's lower to our mats, chaturanga. We can go to knees first 
and take a cobra of your choice. Maybe a low, easy cobra if you're taking care of your back. Lifting up higher if that's accessible to you. Bring the shoulders back and down and open your chest. And press back into down dog. Take a deep breath, check in. Checking in with our bodies, with our breath. Remembering to honor our bodies as we go through our poses. Let's lift our left leg up. And bend the knee, we'll let that foot drop back. Open our hip a little bit, find that stretch in your left hip. And then step it forward. Foot comes up between the hands, our right heel drops to the mat. Let's lift up in warrior one. Relax the shoulders down. Let's let our feet feel grounded into our mat so we're steady. And then we'll drop the elbows, open the hearts. Shoulders are back and down, beautiful. And then take the arms back behind you. Draw your shoulder blades together. Keep that heart open and we'll fold forward. Exhaling down. We can keep our hands resting on our back or lift our arms up. Pressing into our feet to steady ourselves. Let's take another breath. As we inhale, let's lift back up. Release the hands, bring them forward and step your feet to the top of your mats. It's a big step there. Let's take a breath, inhale, lift up. As we exhale, we'll fold forward. Dropping chest to thighs. One more breath. And then step back to tabletop, coming to all fours. Positioning our wrists under our shoulders, let's turn to the side in a side plank. We can be on our knee in a kneeling side plank. We open the arms and stack the shoulders, very nice. And then let's lift that extended leg up off the mat. Keep it down if you need to, to steady yourself. Our leg lines up with our hip, our shoulders are open. Let's take another breath. Perfect, and come back to all fours. Let's reposition, make sure we have those wrists under our shoulders, and then we'll turn the other way. Extending. The arms, lifting the leg if you can. Nice and steady, we want our wrist under our shoulder, our hips open. Let's take another breath. And bring it back to all fours. Nice job, let's sit back in child's pose. Take a deep breath, let yourself sink back. We'll stretch out those wrists and arms a little bit from our planks, bringing our Palms together. Let's bring our elbows to the mat and reach our fingertips back to our spine. And notice that stretch in our shoulders, our triceps. Let's take another breath. Release your hands back down. Lift up and bring your legs around to the front. Shake out your legs if they need it. Get your sitting bones even on your mats. Let's bring our hands next to our hips, lengthen our spine into staff pose. So let's line up our legs, our hips, and our feet. Lengthen up through that spine. Perfect. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Now bending from the hips, keeping our spine long, let's reach forward. We can reach to our feet, our legs, wherever we can go here. And just using our hands to support us in our pose, we don't need to use our arms to pull us into the pose. Let's remember to use our breath. One more breath, sinking down into your pose. And slowly lift back up into staff pose. Very nice, good job. Let's bring our feet in. Place our hands behind our thighs, lean back, and look into boat pose. So relax the shoulders, engage the core. Let's lift our 
feet up off the mat. We can always keep our feet down. We can lift them up. We can let go. Hold on if you need to. You can hold on. Take another breath. Perhaps lift the legs. Whoops. Got it. Perfect. Let's bring our feet back down. Let's sit up. Stretch out your back. Good job. Let's open up our legs. If our hips are tight, our inner thighs are tight, we might find ourselves curling up a little bit. So maybe we need to elevate our hips here. Let's have our toes facing up. Good. Keep our sitting bones even on the floor. Stretch through the inner thighs. As we inhale, let's find that length in our spine. And as we exhale, we'll fold forward. Our hands can be inside our legs, reaching to our toes, or they can be in front of us, reaching forward as we lower our bodies down towards the ground. Let's follow our breath into our fold. So we notice that sensation in our inner thighs. Very good. One more deep exhalation, release, down as far as you can go. And as you inhale, begin to lift back up. Let's come back upright. Yeah, sit up tall, beautiful. Let's bring our legs together. And place our hands behind us now. Let's open up our hearts a little bit from all that leaning forward. Let's have our fingers facing towards our hips and our hands lined up under our shoulders. Drawing the shoulders back, let's take a deep breath, press our hearts upwards. We can stay here, just lifting up through the heart, or we can lift onto our feet and bring our hips up off of the floor. So either position. Let's inhale up a little higher, open the chest. Those shoulders, roll them out of there, feeling it there. Let's bring our left leg in and our right leg on top. If that's not doable, we could just have an easy cross leg position. So either one is fine. Right leg in front. Right leg in front. Your right leg in front. Perfect. Inhale, reach those arms up. Stretch and breathe. Exhale down into eagle bringing the right arm in front of the left. Let's try to bring our elbows together. Perhaps we can bring our hands together. If that's not accessible, if our shoulders are a little tight, we can bring our hands to our shoulders. We've still got those elbows drawing forward. We're still stretching into the back of our shoulders. And let's notice our breath here in our pose. As we inhale, feel that space expand across the back in the back of the shoulders. And as we exhale, let's relax our shoulders down. Draw forward through the elbows. Take another breath. Release your arms down beside you. Roll out your shoulders, relax them. And we'll change sides. Let's switch our legs. Let's bring our left leg in front, or we can stack up our knees and our hips, either one. Let's reach our arms overhead and lower into eagle pose. This time our left arm will be in front. Good. Hook the elbows together and bring the hands together or bring your hands to your shoulders. Let's focus on our breath now. Using our breath to deepen our pose. Space across our shoulder blades, across our upper back. Let's take one more breath and release our arms. Relax your shoulders down. Uncross. 
across your legs. Let's bring them around to all fours. Move into down dog. Let's check in here. Notice our breath. Lengthen our spine and our legs. And then lift our right leg up. Take it forward into pigeon. We'll bring our right knee behind our right wrist. And if we have hip or knee issues, we can reverse our pigeon going onto our backs. We can stay upright here if we need to. If the hips are really tight, we could put a blanket or a block under that right hip. And if it's accessible, we can breathe our way down to our mats. Bringing our head to the mat, our arms forward, or we can stack up our hands, lift up just a little bit. And let's release into our pose with our breath. And as we exhale, let's relax our shoulders, our back all the way down to our hips. Feeling that sensation, that awareness in our right hip here. Adjusting or coming out of our pose if we feel any pain or discomfort. Let's take one more deep breath. And then lifting back up, let's come back to our hands and step back to down dog. Stretch it out, take any movement if you like. Take a deep breath. And then bring your left leg up. Let's take it forward to pigeon. We might feel a little different sensation on this side. We'll take that knee towards the side. Good. Bring that foot forward if we can. Very good. Trying to keep our hips, our upper body square to our mats. Our right leg stretched back. Remember, we can prop up that left hip if that's more comfortable, or we can go on our back and reverse our pigeon. We release our breath. Let's lower to the floor wherever we can go. We can be on elbows. Our head can be stacked. Our head could be on the block as well. Or we can release it all the way to our mats. And as we come into our pose and stay in our pose, let's release with our breath. Relaxing the shoulders, the back, the hips. Easing down towards the mat with each exhalation. One more deep breath. And let's walk ourselves back up. Nice job. Drop over to that left hip and bring your legs around in front of you. Shake out your legs if they need it. And now let's come down on our backs. We'll bring our knees to our chest. Give yourself a little hug. Rock on your back if you'd like. Just massaging your spine into your mats. elevated, relaxing here as we begin to prepare for Shavasana. Let's take another breath. And then bending our knees, let's bring the knees back to the chest. our legs down to the mat. We'll let our feet fall open, our shoulders sink into our mats, our palms are up. Let's just breathe in Shavasana, letting go of any tension, relaxing. Let's stay
stay with our breath. Breathing out any tension. Breathing in peace. Take a few more deep cleansing breaths. And rolling over onto our sides. reflect on our practice. Stay with our breath. Stay in that place of peace and calmness. And then press back up to a seated posture. Take a deep breath. Let's bring our hands sharing your